is the Glass Cannon Network. got an update on the great agent of the Imperium race of 2023, <laughs> which is that I, the online retailer that shall go na- unnamed, sent me an update saying my copy was going to arrive on Monday. That's so weird. Yeah. Skid, when is when is your copy going to arrive? My copy is arriving Saturday. So oh. my plan is to completely finish it by the time, before it even arrives at your door, Matt. <sighs> And then text him about it con- continuously. I'm going to spoil the end. <laughs> I'm going to say like exactly what happens at the end of the book. Okay. All right. Well, I guess uh, I'll have to block you. The race is on. It will be sad because we'll we, we have lots of good content back and forth in the text, but this will be maybe the end of that. <laughs> the end of a friendship, honestly. The end of a friendship. <laughs> but what uh, an ending. But what an ending. <laughs> How, what was the falling out about? Well, there was one copy of a, an old traveler book available online. And yeah. <laughs> It'll be an ending as good as the ending of Agent of the Imperium, which was. <laughs> which we'll soon find out. Actually, I was talking about, tra- I was talking about Traveler in, you know, in my class. One of my students brought in a play that takes place on a spaceship. And there was a question that came up and they were like, how does the spaceship go like does it go faster than light does it and she was like i'm still working out the details and i was like well there's this game called traveler <laughs> and then the whole <laughs> room kind of went like blank face like let's let's let the old man just say his oh thing my God. <laughs> the old nerd we used to use jump drives <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was like i'm gonna I, I i could tell i could feel their eyes glaze over like within the first sentence but i was like you know what that's like with my the, 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 i know fish. the look because this exact look that i get from my therapist whenever i try to talk to her about work <laughs> <laughs> I That's mean. Familiar. Your therapist should care about I, you. No, she tries to care, but it's really hard. She's a, <laughs> it's she's really a, hard to care about what we do. Um, <laughs> 30, 33 year old woman <laughs> with well, her own life. <laughs> I wanted to show you all something. Uh, a friend of the show, Jeff Bell, a uh, friend and friend of the network, uh, gave me this last year, and it's I've been hanging on to it, and I wanted to show it to you all on episode. But then I, this is a copy oh. of the first edition. Oh, of the traveler! Cool. Oh my gosh. gosh, it's in pretty. It's in. It's in. Uh, officially, it's in fair condition, which is pretty good for 1977. But it's wow! Got, uh, How did you it, get that? Um, Jeff just he found it somewhere and bought it for for me, which wow. is very generous. That's great. Uh, yeah, it's got all the you know, all the little. Oh all the, my God. that's so cool! I love inside. the booklets. I've, I've got some of the booklets on PDF, but now I have actual copies of them. I wonder, were the tables very similar for like character creation in the first edition? (laughs) That I wouldn't know. I mean, I haven't played. (laughs) I'm curious though if if they're just as brutal or if they're more. I feel like earlier versions of games. It was actually more brutal. More brutal. Yeah. More brutal. Yeah. I find you know OG D and D first edition like very brutal. Wow. There you go. Starships. Yeah. Yeah. I think in the original version of the game, when you failed your survival roll, you just died. Is that true? Uh, I think so. Right. I don't know. I'll have to read the book. Seth? Seth? You did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That is brutal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So saying like, I want to take one You're more right. term is like risky. Yeah, it was really risky. <laughs> 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 it was basically Russian roulette. Sheesh. Yeah. That's was, fun. Though. That's, it was crazy. That's very interesting. It was fun. Tr- it was super fun. It was just like, oh, yeah. It was. It, I, I did actually like it. I, I think I might actually prefer it. Huh. Um, well, we could but, institute that rule for next time. Oh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> probably, we, Mongoose go, has it as optional called the Iron Man method. Right. Oh. Of, yes. <sighs> we can do an Iron Man. We can do an Iron Man. Is it as, is it as draconian? Like if you fail your survival roll, you're dead? Or is it just increase your yeah. <clears throat> death chance? Wow. Great. We should do it. Like, oh we would die yeah. with our luck. We would die. We, we would yeah, die. Our, our dice are not yeah. nice enough. There would be no show. <laughs> no. <laughs> It would take six hours to do a character creation to episode. Get <laughs> you have to keep starting over. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll be a baby who hasn't gone to school because that's all I can do. <laughs> and we do Space nothing. We go nowhere. 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 We go nowhere.
<laughs> We're just going to stay <laughs> just in the, in the hermetically and sealed cook room. Food. It, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but that, that's, it's definitely the oldest game I own. Do you, could you have a copy? Yeah. I feel like you had a copy. I do. You do? I do. I have a few. I told the uh, – because uh, I, I had an original edition growing up. Someone sent me one uh, a couple of years ago too, like the old the box set like you've got. And I think I've told this story like – I was I was in a in the mall in uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts, and I was there was a hobby store there that's not there anymore. And I was just sort of browsing in there a few years ago, and uh, I w- was looking through the traveler stuff. And the owner was just like, "Oh, are you a traveler fan?" I was just like, "Yeah, yeah." Since back in the day, and he's like, "Come here, I'm going to show you something." And he took me into the back room, and he had the original painting that was the cover of the Traveler Adventure, the old like the the sort of the book. Uh-huh. The, the big module like it was the painting that was the cover of that book so we had that and the game designers workshop the actual sign that used to hang on the building in st louis in the original offices whoa they, wow. i met them at a con outside of boston uh because they told me about they had the sign uh, when i was it was the same, the same guy oh my gosh yeah. and yeah. we talked about going out there like at like they actually had to remove the sign. Um. <laughs> he told he told me the same story. <laughs> he told me the same story. Oh my god! Okay. Wait, so you guys met the same hobby we met shop the same owner guy? What? I met he the was, same guy. He was at a total con in uh, Massachusetts. I uh, with there. 2020, yeah. right before the pandemic, my one con I made it to that year, and I, I bet they're they're real nice. And you know that I came home and. The world ended, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do remember that and conversation. His store, his store, I guess it like it didn't survive the pandemic because it's not oh. there anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, it was a really yeah. nice store. It's like it, it was. It, it had a fun. It, it was almost like the Android's Dungeon or something. It had a name like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a really good store, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, no. We blame. Well, it's all. We. I blame. Our, I blame myself. I blame you too. I'm <laughs> gonna, I was gonna <laughs> seek him out and tell him the exact <laughs> sentence seek to blame you. Get that, get the sign. One of you gets the sign. One of you gets the painting. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, right. whoever, whoever gets, the, whoever gets to f- finish his uh, agent of the Imperium first gets both. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you know, get first dibs. Um, I do want to, I do want to thank Mongoose, by the way, because they have been super generous in supporting the show and also um, providing us with materials. I mean, like they sent all, all, all of their, uh, not all of them, but a whole bunch of their books, which obviously I've been making great use of uh, along the way. Uh, it's been my bedside reading for some time now. So thank you to Mongoose for, for both saving this game that we all love and also, uh, you know, you know, sending me stuff. And we were talking before the last show, just how high quality their materials are. Like yeah. the books, oh. the books are, they make great Gor- reading. Gorgeous. It's really the, and the the production quality is really high and i mm-hmm. just i i love the universe so much i can't i, I will never be able to get enough of it so it's um, i mean i don't know all the details and i'm probably talking out of my ass but it feels like such a like such a like a fun cinderella story for this game that's been like it's been carried by various partners along the way to like to keep this keep the universe alive and growing yeah. and growing richer and deeper yeah. and yeah, and it's had a really convoluted sort of history just with ownership rights and everything and yeah. and the rights being split in some cases, some people owning some things, some people owning others. And it's it's funny too because like it hit the scene I think like a couple of months before the first Star Wars premiered. And yeah, so two or three months. It, yeah, and so it like sort of rode that uh, mm-hmm. that sort of wave of sci-fi enthusiasm to of early success, and it just sort of carried it through uh, most of the rest of the of the, the century. Um, but uh, yeah, but they're great. I love their stuff so much. It's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, speaking of the centuries, mm. ooh, ooh, <laughs> oh, ooh, we're getting better at this. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm like I can if I use a word from the sentence in my segue. That's the trick. It's the trick. Speaking of the. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of definite, definite articles. articles. <laughs> Thank you, Skip. <laughs> Let's start the game. Oh my god. Uh, well, yeah. Last episode, you all uh, found yourself in a, in a tense standoff with a Jodani military officer named Evir Klosian Eper. Uh, and you, but you were able to reach an accord, barely, 
uh, because uh, the engine section of his ship was still emitting power. He had a readout on his personal computer. And the Kate Gambit, Kate's Gambit was, uh, their major need was a power plant. So you would work together to recover the power plant from the Jodani ship and any other necessary materials. And in exchange, you would all get off this rock, including uh, Ivir's, the, the noble he is an intendant to, uh, who is the captain of his ship. Uh, however, you are going to have to venture out into an area you've never risked exploring before. Uh, and you so you set out making your way through a forest and then zip lining across a river. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> some of us better than others. So. Some of you better, than, more successfully than others. Mm -hmm. um, but you all, you all got there eventually, uh, and and then were deluged by a storm. Uh, is that, can I say that? You're, there was a storm and you got deluged. I don't know. English is funny. Yeah. Um, but and then you you set out once more and you discovered this. You just start, slowly discovered the debris field from uh, a, a hundred hundred plus year old wreckage. And when you, you entered the ship and discovered it was a luxury liner, uh, actually a zoo ship, uh, which would explain the vast array of wildlife you've encountered on this planet. And up on the bridge, you were able to temporary, temporarily revive one of the ship's computers where you discovered that yes, the ship had misjumped about 117 years ago. Uh, though when Arthur looked at the math tried on the, in the jump data, it almost seemed as if the ship had descended deeper into jump space somehow, which fundamentally made no sense, but that's what the math was seemed to be suggesting. But then Willadine remembered just kind of the, the vestiges of an old spacer tale of a ship called the Fisher, which disappeared, and then its wreckage showed up years later on a random moon in the corridor, uh, and it's some, some survivors were found parsecs away, and there were reports that of their, their jump drive having, quote, run wild, and then taking them deeper into jump space. But she didn't like. She remember, you don't really remember who you heard the story from and where you heard it, but you only remember some of the details. It sounded like just the kind of story that some old spacers would like tell when they when they were well into their cups. Um, mm -hmm. But then maybe like now that you, now that Arthur's looking at this data, maybe it seems like it has some sort of relevance to your situation. Hmm. Uh, it's, he's going to mention that um, this is something we should probably take into account if we get the ships up. To try to jump out of here if this place is uh it's obviously yanking ships in uh so it might be much more difficult to get away so this is this is something when we navigate out of here we will have to be exceptionally careful not to not to dig too deep or even reverse engineer the process given that i mean we may not even be within jump jumpable distance of another planet wherever we are yeah. Well, yeah, as soon Which as I we... I don't think we are. Yeah, yeah if we come so. out, we're going to uh, hopefully be able to realize where we actually are. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first thing we need mm. to know. Find and out. then determine, yeah, if, if we're in any jumpable distance to well, you, another... You know where you are. You are far away. We know from... where we are. Hell yeah. and gone. But, yeah. but do we know if we're, ne we're near nothing, right? The, yeah. Okay, yeah. so there wouldn't be a jumpable yeah, point. We're, we're going to have to bring extra fuel. Yeah, uh, you'll have... There is, I mean, you would assume you might there would be fuel on between the three ships. You might be able to kind of get some fuel together for at least a jump. Well, it's just yeah. it's just water, but the uh, the idea is if we jump and we have to jump again and again, we're either going to be chasing comets down, which we have experience doing, yeah. and get their water, or just haul a bunch of water with us. So, but we'll cross that bridge when we earn it. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> 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 oh, um, Avir is anxious to keep going. Uh, he wants to get back. You know, his his his, his uh, the noble that he works for, his, the, who he refers to as my lady. Uh, mm -hmm. She uh, he hasn't been able to make contact with her, though he does have uh, his life signs. He you know she's currently alive, but he doesn't know if she's all right or not. Okay. We okay. must go. We must go. Please. No, we, enough, we enough. can come back here. I'll, yeah. I'll see yeah, anything spoiling. Yeah, we've All seen right. your imperial graveyard. Might we return to the task at hand? Well, if you took any of that information and processed it through your uh, psyche, you would understand that the animals that inhabit this planet are far vaster than even we thought. This was a ship full of various life forms. So now you understand the the dangerous situation 
that this world is. Yes? Yes, the, I understand that your Imperial meddling has created a, an even more risky situation for us. Yes, thank you. And we shall continue with caution, was all I was saying. Such a punchable nose. <laughs> Such a punchable nose. <laughs> um, so you're going to head back. I, 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 Sorry, I'm also going to ask him where they were jumping from and to when the mist jump happened. If they were yeah, doing near the rift. Hmm. And he, he, looks just at, going. he stares at you blankly and goes, Does that mean he's trying to tell you telepathically? Oh, I thought he was asking him to use his brain. (laughs) (laughs) Can't tell what's going on. Well, just try to get the information if you can. Uh, Oh, see. Oh, it's it's a little challenge. (laughs) Challenge. Oh, no. I'm just trying to help when we start calculating how to get out of here, what we're dealing with, and you want to make it a game. Okay. It is a game, isn't it, Captain Every, Moxley? Everything they taught me at the I, academy I would say was n- true. No, it's not a. Ga- it's not a game. Are you a- actually asking me? Because no, it's not a game. I am. A, you, well, uh, you. You might want to remind your friends about uh, what will happen to all of us when we find out we've been collaborating with a galactic rival. What will happen to you? And you. Well, I've said it before. I'll say it again. We will cross that bridge when we get there. Or burn it. Or burn it. Or burn burn that bridge. Whatever. Burn that bridge. Again, when I cross it, I will determine if I then need to burn it. It's sort of, it's a two-step process, so. (laughs) I'll arrive at the bridge. I'll evaluate. I may need to cross. I may need to burn. Is it even burnable? I don't know. It could be a bridge of stone. I have no idea. I haven't seen this. I have not seen this bridge. Were you a captain of a, a large vessel? I uh, have been. I've been captain of large, small, uh, rich, poor. I've. She had a whole boat. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a seafaring world, so I've been a captain on a ship, a ship, a ship, not a, sp- a spacecraft. If, if you're is like, oh god, what have I, <laughs> what have I gotten into? <laughs> and in her head, in her head, you just hear whatever I was saying before, like, captain. I don't think we should go that way. She's stuck in this one part. And he's like, is that my twin brother? (laughs) The melodrama. Trying to drive him out of your head with bad fiction. (laughs) But she just can't get through this scene. So he listens again. It's the same scene. (laughs) Um, Alrighty. So you you want to get back on the the path towards the the signal? He's going to veer from God in the direction of the signal. Because she might be hurt. (laughs) It's true. Yeah. Um... All right, so you make your way back through the ring structure of the ship and down and climb out of the wreckage. Um, Roll recon. Nine. Ten. Nice. Eight. Uh, If it uses sound or smell, eight. Otherwise, seven. All right, so Willa Dean, as you're, you guys are walking, you're making your way back. I mean, you went, you kind of veered off the path a little, not the path, but off, off course a little bit to get to investigate this. And as you're making your way back towards in the direction of the, sh- of, uh, the Jordani ship, glance past something you see like in, in the, in the brush, you see something that you feel like you swear you would have noticed the first time. It looks kind of like a, a large rust colored mass of, is it plant life? Is it? Oh, rust monster. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, she reaches out uh, with like her, the butt of her blade and tries to like move the brush aside or to kind of like tap it, see if it's metallic. Oh, you approach? <laughs> I mean, yes. it sounds like that's what you're doing. Like appro- I appro- yeah. You know what? I approach with my stun stick, uh, ready I- to mm-hmm. to do anything. If it's an animal, you know, if it's something that's going to pop mm. up and wow, open its maw. <laughs> I know it what? is. I know it is now. <laughs> so, so this it's a it's pretty large. It's like basically the size of an elephant. Oh, um, oh. okay. You didn't say that. 
I thought it was like in the dirt or something. Wait, no, yeah. uh, describe what I'm seeing then. It's in the it's in the tree coverage in, or it's yeah, like amongst you know, there's debris and trees and bushes and in the mass of, of shrubbery almost. You know, there's a kind of rust colored mound. Looks like maybe it's a maybe it's like a it looks almost like a, a compost pile or something. But it's okay. Got a I get swan. Rust I get swan. I pull swan. Uh, white swan. Swan, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know. Do you Maybe see it's a like a like an like a living space for something else. <sighs> I, I don't know if we should mess with it. I, I don't. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it like it like it like starts to wiggle and tentacles. No, are, uh, pop out it of is it. a rust monster. And oh. it goes and it releases a whole bunch of spores. I backed what? away from it. I backed away from it because to go get roll, Swan. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh, no. oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you, anyone like to make a tactics roll before you roll initiative? Yes. That would be a real good idea. I don't have tactics. So go ahead, go ahead Willa Dean. Uh, eight, nine. Okay, uh, I wouldn't add any physical traits to tactics, right? No. That's a nine. Nine, okay, so everyone gets a plus one to your initiative. Nice. Oh, yay. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> well, still didn't roll that great. All right, whatever we get. 11. 11 for Arthur. Nine for Swan. Nine for Swan. Eight for Willardine Faye Moxley. <laughs> All right, and Pug? Uh, eight for Pug. Um, okay. Uh, and then let's do Veer got a six. Oh, no, he got a seven. And Bert got a two. Oh, no, we rolled a two. Okay. Um, all right. Um, first things first. Everyone needs to give me an endurance check. Oh no. Spores. No. All right. And we're not adding anything to that, right? It's just straight endurance? Uh, yes, just straight endurance. I rolled uh, really bad. I rolled really bad. 10 for Pug. 10, ten for, for Pug. Swan. 8. 8. It's a 5. Oh, but wait. I have my vac suit on, and I have a um, oh. a filter mask. I have a filter mask in my equipment. Do you need to have your vac suit on to have the filter mask activated? Like, do you need to have the no, helmet up? No, no, the, the filter mask is separate, but I guess that would be like an action to put this filter mask. I don't have it on, I just have it. Mm -hmm. So, well, all, right. all right. Yes. Okay, yeah. Every, everyone failed, but- oh. However, Willadine, if your mask is not on, you have a, an effect of, min of minus six or worse, which is, what? well, let's say you have the filter on, so you just fail. Okay. So everyone's going to take a dice modifier minus two, because when you inhale the spores, you are severely disoriented and barely, and like barely able to stand or walk properly. Oh, no. I don't remember. Oh, you like also hallucinogen or like... Or it's um, it's it's more of a soporific. It's a uh, it's, oh, it's okay. a roofy monster. It's a roofy it's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yes>. um, <laughs> and this is all of us right now, right? Because we all obviously took our masks off to converse, yeah. and you know. And okay. remember, you also had a dice modifier minus one from your poor night of sleep, because you got hit by the storms. <sighs> in trouble. That. But here's the good news. But minus two, minus three altogether. Minus three altogether. <sighs> but the good news is that Arthur, you're up first. I am, um, well, what I was planning on doing is putting on my respirator mask, but evidently I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apparently that's what I did too. I went, my filter mask. <gasps> <laughs> um, um, that's not a bad so, idea. <laughs> so yeah, I will, I will pull on my respirator mask after evidently taking a deep breath because idiot. And, um, so how far away am I from Rufy Beast and uh, and where is like how close did they get to it before it went all blah blah blah? I mean, uh, 
it didn't even react to them approaching so much as it reacted to uh, Willadine, like noticing it and getting Swan to notice it as well. You're about uh, ten meters away. Okay. okay. Is it look too big to get between the trees, or is it like? Get it? Does it look like you can get to us? Like, it looks like it gets you. In fact, it's okay. like it's starting to kind of like roil its way to you. It's like, okay. and it will do that on its turn. I, I will move up next to Willadine with my spear, a William Wallace style. <laughs> yeah, <but> <laughs> you love that oh. spear. <laughs> okay. And uh, if it if it gets close enough, I'll attack it. Otherwise, I've just got a big my pointy stick. Okay. Um, all right, Swan, you are up. Ooh, okay. I'm sniffly because it's uh, keep putting the, turning the mic off, so I'm not sniffing into my mic. <laughs> okay, um, okay. I guess. Okay, so are we using an action to put our respirator mask back on? Or you're, so are, are you putting your mask on? Or are you closing your Are you closing your back suits? I don't. Know, were you wearing back suits, or are you just wearing your armor? I think we all are because we're going out into you know the unknown area. Of the forest, I assume. So I think we would all suit up. We wouldn't go out like in our dungarees and a t-shirt. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> well, you go out in your armor, right? Like you don't necessarily need to vac suit up to go out into the wilderness. I don't think any of us have standalone armor, right? I think we all use our vac suits. As our you use your vac suits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I use standard I, I armor. I explicitly donned my vac suit, oh, if right. you'll recall. I have my my jumpsuit that's always clean. Oh right. Oh, right. Yeah, a self cleaning jump. <laughs> <laughs> Your magic. Um, which I really put on every character I have. Like, he's like, that is great. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. so you're so you closing, you're putting like your helmet on, your helmet, the vac suit helmet comes on. Yeah, after taking a deep breath or whatever we're supposed to do and take <laughs> five minus whatever, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Um, is that all I can do with that or is that a minor action? I would or? call that a significant action, probably. Okay. And okay, so then movement-wise, she's going to, because, I mean, she knows what she wants to do, she's going to sort of back away. Generally, if something came out of the ground and started shaking with tentacles, she would back away pretty far. <laughs> okay. All right, so you move the complement of your movement away from the monster. Do you want to, I, I, will, I will give you also a free check to know what this is. Me? Specific, oh, that's true. You're okay, a yeah, that's your thing. Let me take out the dice. So give me a xenobiology roll. Oh, good to see does you. Does she have a one. minus three to this? Yes, she does. Is it the Rufy Beast? Yes. The Rufy Beast. Four. Ooh, wait, can I add science to it or just or just specifically? Science, xenobiology. So I think we... <gasps> okay, so it's three, pl yeah, it's plus four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 11 plus four. <laughs> oh. 11 plus four minus three. Minus three. That's still a 12. That's still a 12. Okay. All right. This is a creature known as a Nella Rotten. Uh, known as a what? Nella Rotten, possibly Nella Rotten, but I like Nella Rotten because rotten. It's, no, uh, oh it, is a, it is a carnivorous mobile fungi. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Uh, this is literally your worst fear. I know. Its spores are soporific. Uh, they will continue. It's like a myconid, right? Uh, and it's got, it will, it, the way it works is it, it, it releases the spores to uh, put its, uh, put its uh, prey to sleep. Then it uses the tentacles to grab them and swallow them and eat them. Um, oh no. Well, we know what happened to everybody in the ship now. Shoot. Uh, you also, know, and you, you remember, you also saw they had one of these on the zoo ship. Yeah. Why? I mentioned that to every, everyone casually as I run in the other direction. Um, the other thing you should know <laughs> is that if you touch it, uh, it will release uh, flesh-eating toxins that will that will hurt you as well. I have to Google this right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. She tells tells it to us like all like drunkenly. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, it's gonna hate you. Um, this guy's this guy's crazy, man. It's <laughs> crazy, man. Um, okay, uh, Willa Dean, you are up. Uh, yeah, I imagine uh, Swan yells all of that. Uh, and Willadine would like to, oh boy, use her Gauss rifle, which has its suppressor on it. So hopefully maybe, it, I don't know, maybe the creature won't like directly hear the noise. I don't know if I can hear anything 
But anyway, I'm going to take a <laughs> shot at it, and then I'm going to move further away from it. Okay, so you're going to take a dice modifier minus three to this roll, but because Oh, and I, I put my filter mask on. I put my filter mask on. Okay. I put my filter mask on. Um, so we did say that was going to be a, a significant action. Oh, shit. Okay, so then I put it on and I move away from it. <laughs> right. And I ready right. my Gauss rifle to then shoot mm-hmm. next time. Okay. Oh, um, right. Aim is a free action, right? Aim, aim is a minor free. action. Minor action, okay. Um, Pug, you are up. Pug is going to... <laughs> he's going to put his button up with his helmet. And with his minor action, he is going to ready... He's going to arm himself with his machine gun. Okay. Yes, hell yes. yes. That's right. Yeah. Um, that's right. Okay, uh, Evir is going to also close his like close his helmet, the visor of his helmet, the bug the bug eyes they come down. Did he gasp first? Oh yeah, he's affected too. They all of you. Okay. Yeah, but I, say, like, I, I Actually, hate to you know think what? he was the one guy that, like didn't exhale as he did it like damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I rolled for Bert, Bert failed, but so did so did uh so did Vier. All of you are like it feels like you're kind of like you're at that stage of drunkenness where you're like barely able, like all you want to do is lie down. Hmm. This is about to be the greatest <laughs> bonding experience afterwards as we're like kind of tripping and going through the woods and telling our childhood <laughs> yeah. stories to each other and bonding. <laughs> it's like the end of, well, a show. I won't, one of us is watching it. I won't say anything. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Cryptic. Um, all right. Uh, Enavir will aim. He will stand his ground and aim. Uh, it is the Nella Rotten's turn now. Uh it advances very slowly at the speed of one meter, kind of like rolls, like the fu- like this kind of like rolls in on itself and kind of advances. Ew. Yeah, uh, and oh, the, the tentacles like... are all like. <laughs> um, oh. yeah. Just walk away from it. This is yeah, I mean, Romero just... zombie. Oh, can we, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is Bert's turn. Bert will close his visor and he will retreat with you guys to put some distance mm-hmm. between you. Um, and then it is, actually, you know what? What? The thing, actually, it will, the Nellarotten will advance, trip, it will move, it will triple move. It will move, 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 and advance by three meters. Um, all right, so it is now Bert, st- Bert went, Arthur, you are up. Um, well, if everybody else is backing away, because I had to head by position, <laughs> and it's moving really slow, I will, will it's like, Let's just go that way and just back up with a spear out and I will move my distance because I move way faster than that thing. (laughs) You do move faster. Um, Okay. And that is Arthur's turn. Swan, you are up. Okay, like, I, I really do want to take liberty here and imagine that I would know something about this creature because of what she is. And that would make her especially, I would like to think, strategic in how she would deal with this specific creature. So I would like to request some pluses in all of my roles. <laughs> I totally agree. I was like, I, I think this is very reasonable. I like that. I think yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like that bonus. No. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to shoot it, it's large. So mechanically, you get a plus four to your roll on that. See, yeah, because I just, I mean, you, you, when you said, like, it releases toxic gases, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, if I pop it, it's going to kill us all. You know what I mean? I mean, we anyway, could. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to, it, it would, wouldn't make sense if she did something that was ridiculous because she should know what this is and most things about it. So she is going to shoot it with her Gauss rifle. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed something very important. Oh, oh. no. Oh, boy. When you are affected by the affected by the spores, your movement is reduced by half. Oh. So you get like two steps away from it. <laughs> so how, how long though do the spores affect us for? Till you die. <laughs> for the rest of your life. Till it eats you. Which is about three rounds. <laughs> right. <laughs> about nine seconds. I wonder if we wandered into its camp. 
Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, we're the bad guys here. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, never mind. Okay, forget I said that. Actually, oh, as this I is said just <laughs> classic inaction of stand your ground law. Uh, <laughs> on, on squatter, the really it's screaming squatters right, squatters right. <laughs> <laughs> It was squatting there. I fucked up. I shouldn't have gone up to it. Yeah, I should have known. You should have recognized the property line. <laughs> yeah, one. exactly. All right, then I'm, I'm literally, I mean, she's just going to shoot it, so. Great. Let's do it. Oh, God. And then I get, with the gun, I get plus two my gun combat, right? Aim minor action and plus one for aiming? No. Plus one for aiming. And then I get then plus two. Plus four because it's huge. Minus three because okay. we're stoned. And sleepy. Oh, and tired. So plus, so plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two, plus two, minus stone inch. Three. It, yeah, so average, you should end up with plus two, plus okay. two, plus yeah. your gun combat. Yes. Plus your dex. Okay. The roll is a 10. You hit, roll your damage. Nice. Well, maybe nice. Let's see what happens when we hit it. What are you, sh- what are you first, shooting, by the way? First apart, like a... Gas spore. This is, this is, you know, I mean, I wanna. It's a, it's a mushroom, right? It's like a fungus. Sort it's of a thing. fungus. It's a, it's a, it's a mushroom the size of an elephant with tentacles that releases toxic spores. I hate like any sort of, you know what I mean? Okay, four, four plus three. Uh, plus the effect, oh, no, right? Wait, eight plus three. <laughs> I can't math right now. Eight plus three. <laughs> wait, eight? You rolled eight damage? I rolled an eight. Wow, what's um, what kind of weapon is this? The Gauss, Gauss rifle, right? Rifle so it's two with the laser pointer. So physical. Like automatically, just <laughs> wait, just four, four D. I get four D. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought because I, I forgot I'm using my laser pointer and I aim. Okay. Oh, this is a lot more. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. <laughs> Fifteen. Nice. <laughs> So That's the Gauss, the Gauss awesome. rifle is a physical projectile, right? So it's a slug. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow. You you like you step up, you square away, you fire. And you're like I I know I hit it. I know I hit it so hard, and it just like and just like seems to absorb the projectile and keeps coming. Oh no. Oh, no. Shit. You know because of you, because you recognize this creature, you also know that most weapons will do limited damage to this. However, because you rolled well. I will tell you that uh, so energy, fire and energy based weapons will do, will do normal damage. Normal damage. But physical weapons will reduce it. So you had 4D, so it reduces to, it's, the damage is reduced to one, one point of damage per die. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, four? I oh. said I got a four? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, it is. Wow. It, it is. However, uh, you, uh, if you were to, I'll, I, Swan, this is your field, so I, I have no problem sharing this information with you. If you were okay. to attack it with a, a spear, for example, or a sword or a blade, a cutting implement of some kind, uh, you just replace. You do normal damage. You take your normal damage dice, but replace them all with d3s. So but you're probably just is, having your damage. The problem with a melee weapon is getting close to it, and then yes. yeah, you know, more more spores. Dangerous yeah. tentacles. And the, to- yeah. and the uh, also right. the, uh, the flesh eating toxins. I'm kind of loving and the flesh eating toxins. I'm kind of loving Seth's idea to run away. <laughs> Will it Kate, how fast does this thing go? I mean it's I would know, slow. wouldn't I? It's slow. Oh, so we're slow too, but we're still way but faster we, than it. Yeah, we could use double movement and like just keep moving further than it can walk. Do any of you have an energy weapon? I don't think any of us do, right? I have if, a laser pistol. There you yeah. go. There you That's go. And Avir, Avir has a laser carbine. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Let him use I mean, I could, battery. I could take a pop shot with the laser pistol and like walk, shoot, walk, shoot, just try to like weaken it. Mm-hmm. And you're up, in fact. And here I go. Watch this. I'm going to shoot it with my laser pistol. So minor <laughs> action draw, significant action no, shoot. I, I had it. Oh no, I had my Gauss rifle. God damn it! <laughs> damn it! Um, mm. Yeah. I minor action draw, major action shoot. Let's see. So plus four for being large, minus three for your being stoned. Nine, ten. 
So only a plus one, 11. And then do I do dexterity or strength? Dex. 13. Okay, you hit it. Okay, uh, cool. Ooh. And it's a laser weapon, so you get normal damage. Cool. Uh, and uh, is the damage 3D plus three? Does that sound right? That's what I have written. For a laser pistol? Laser uh, pistol, laser zero pistol? G, it's a secure weapon. I made all these modifications sounds, to my cool weapon. That sounds correct. Okay. And then you would also add your effect, so was it five? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's average check, average check for a range attack. Whoa. Six, laser seven. pistol, a zero G, a tech level 11 laser pistol is 3D plus three. There you go. Okay. 16, 17, 18. So that's wow. 18 with the plus three and then a plus five on top of that? Is it yeah. to hit? You hit really, you, hit, you rolled really well. Damn, 23. Nice. Okay. Nice. Well, <laughs> this thing, you you get a, fi- a shot off with your laser pistol, and it just yeah. like it really seems like catch fire. It smells awful. Oh, good thing I have my filter. Mask. <laughs> <laughs> I think Willadine shoots it. Then is it is like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 like you did not Willadine expect. Like- so is it on? <laughs> what is it doing? It's just freaking out. It's freaking out. It's still alive. It's still coming for you. But uh, it's it, you monsters it. have blood of kerosene. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it really badly. Oh wow! Um, and then, since I use my minor action, do I get movement as well, or that is my minor? Your minor action. You were drawing as a minor, shooting as a significant. As a significant. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So okay. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Pug, you are up. All right, Pug is going to aim his machine gun, his heavy machine gun, and he is gonna unleash full auto. Okay. <laughs> on this thing. All right, so plus four for its size, minus three for your being stoned. Okay, so I think uh, my total bonus is uh, plus six. Okay. So your your only way you miss is if you roll Okay. A snake eyes. Uh, first roll to hit is an 18. You hit with an effect of plus 10, but this is a slug weapon, so you're not, you're right. not going to get that bonus. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So I'm just I'm going to do all of my to, to hit rolls. So first, uh, first ones, first ones a hit. Uh, second to hit. Uh, third is a hit. Oh my Ooh. gosh. All four hit. Um, What's your, so, what are your damage dice on these things? Three three dice per per burst. Whoa. So and three bursts hit. <laughs> so it's twelve total points of damage. All right, uh, Skid. In the grand tr- tradition of Skid, describe your kill. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Yay. just this. It's just like, it's like let's rock and do it. So it unleashes oh like thirty rounds Flexes. on this thing. <laughs> I, I, I was picturing the predators, the trees are just all falling under all the. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a minigun. <laughs> so this is, this is an <laughs> elephant sized mass of fungus with tentacles all around its body, like a slinky, except they're tentacles that will grab you, unleashing spores. And it's just like on fire. <laughs> Willadine shot it once with a laser pistol and knocked maybe, I mean, I'm not kidding, like 80% of its hit points away. Oh my or, gosh. Oh my god. It has no armor. It's just yeah, a yeah. writhing yeah, fungal yeah. mass. And then it, and then it, <laughs> Pug, you step up and just unleash full <laughs> auto. Just, just yeah, I did. Blow That's it apart. right. I just went full like Jesse Ventura on this thing. <laughs> And then, like when the like the, the smoke from the gun settles, and all like the and there's just trees, like wood chips from destroyed trees everywhere. <laughs> it was like deafeningly loud, and there's no creature left. It's just like smoking, flaming bits of fungus all around you. Oh my god! Hug. <laughs> A little overkill, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> and Avir, Avir looks over at you like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I give a meaningful look to the Jodani. <laughs> I, am, I am sure we are really giggling in character, too. Like, <laughs> I know, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you're also I would still... like to take a specimen with me back. So she uh, puts maybe like a piece of a tentacle in one of her little research files. It, it's got, oh, sure. If it's there's any flesh left, eating, for sure. Flesh eating proponents yeah <laughs> it's, you it's never like know. those toads if you lick it you have a good time yeah yeah that's actually, how we feel right now we're like woo. Uh, yeah that's right yeah that's right sleepy all right roll give me another science roll 
Who? Uh, Swan? Swan or oh, anyone. Me? Okay. Anybody? So, oh, this is the good roll. Swan good is going to steal this. We're going to oh, get off the planet. Sense. He's going to accidentally unleash it on some unsuspecting yeah. population. It's classic uh, xenomorph uh, negligence. Okay. It's nine if I can't add magication. It's an 11 if I can't add magic. You can add your education, but you're still, okay, taking, a mi- you're still you're taking a minus three of this roll. I'm thinking about, yes, exactly. That's right. Yeah, this, this is it. I mean, we, we may be getting off this planet after all. So, you know, maybe this is something. She's never seen this, something like this in person, but she knows what they are. So she... Wants to take a piece in a vial. Well, first really? things first, with that science check, you actually fail, but you only marginally fail. So I'll give you the, what you realize through your like soporific stupor is that you are you need to like decontaminate to get these to get to get oh. rid of this effect. Oh, okay. back to the river. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, how how would we decontaminate though? You th- you reasonably think you could probably like wash it off and then okay. also you have to get it out of your lungs and your eyes and like you have to really like, we're gonna have to like gargle with like scope yeah. and bleach and salt whatever. water gargle how far bleach. are we from the river that we crossed uh, you yeah, were yeah. like a few hours like you, were, like you made it like half a day right. That's what I, I mean this is like it seems like there's a lot of water on this planet yeah. there's probably yeah. a good decent chance that we'll run into more I think we keep so going. So maybe we should just keep going, even though it's going to be really slow going with the effect going on. I, you roll, everybody roll an intellect check. Oh no. Minus three though, right? Minus three, right. Three. Ten. Ooh. Two. <laughs> Swan, you're like, we need to, we need to decontaminate. Like there's like, you can't, you can, oh, okay. like you, you, it's, it's a crap shoot. You even make it back to the river. Let alone forward. Oh. What about the ship? Maybe the ship has some a shower. I, I bet its showers are gross. <laughs> what they say about the Giordani showers? Well, it's been there the for a hundred right years. Here? Yeah, the ship right here. Yeah, the ship right here. There's got to be something left on this ship. Rations, water. I don't know. It's the closest thing. Did Sydney. we find the bar? Is it Sydney, I have, I have bean? some. Uh, Oh, you mean I the have water some uh, really good. Uh, okay. I have some really good hummus in my refrigerator right now. Would you like to have it in 117 years? <laughs> <laughs> they have. That's rude because they have astronaut ice cream, and I had that as a child, and it's sealed in a vacuum bag. So. And if there's scotch, it could be even better. <laughs> yeah, disinfect, disinfect. All right, you can go back to the ship, and, and I, try to disinfect with the bar. Let's, Alcohol. Let's, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Something like that. Anything. Like, there's got to be, like, traveling wash Go to the river. Or the if this is, far. like, like a jellyfish, we could just pee on it. Pee on each other. <laughs> we asked Swan. We asked Swan. Yeah, we yeah. Asked Swan. <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe the scientists work? should weigh in before we commit. Would that work <laughs> tell us the truth? Before we commit to peeing on each other. Yeah. <laughs> just for fun. Back, at, back on my home planet... Uh, we that's what we would do you know if you're out in the middle and you can't get back in time and you get stung you you, you pee in a cup and you pour it on one another and it's not weird you're and it's not wrong that's the mushrooms talking i think no, you're crazy no 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 i've <laughs> peed yeah. Yeah, i've you peed on, pee on somebody i peed Come on a lot on. of people i've been peed on and oh, it's no, not no. and Come it's on, not no. A sexual thing is not weird. <laughs> I didn't even think it was. Why would you think it is? Why would you think it is? It's I not. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't sound like something to do <laughs> it's not, ordinarily. Is I know you point, were up there by yourself for so long. Is the point? No, <laughs> I'm talking about when I was when I was a, a teen. When I was on the ship. With my family. We're going into an even weirder area here. <laughs> think, we should just stop talking about this. Just go back to the river. You turn around and Mike Bird is trying to unzip his uh, unzip his yeah, so you know, Stop, stop. <laughs> what? what what's, are we not urinating on each other? <laughs> they don't want to, Bert. They th- they don't want to. Last I told resort. them it's not weird, but they don't <laughs> think they don't believe me. <laughs> no would, urine uh, based solutions. She's right. It's it's not weird. We can, we, we shouldn't be uh, shaming each other to save each other from irritation with urine. Everybody pee. Can we do like a medic roll or something <laughs> to see like what the best option is? 
pee right yeah. now. <laughs> oh, everybody everybody That's... who wants to give me a medic roll. Okay. Okay. Minus three. Uh, Minus five. Three. Five. Minus three. Oh, sure. Five. Six. Five. Uh, if you're actually oh, rolled, if you're rolled a ten minus three would be seven. I'm oh, sorry, eight minus, or ten plus his education is eleven. All right, yeah. So if you're if you're rolls an eight, he's like, back to the river. It's the only option. Okay. All right. Ordinarily, I mistrust anything you said out of your mouth, but that does sound reasonable. Let's go back to the river. Okay. I love the river. Let's go yeah. back to the river. I okay. went down in the river to pray. Does anyone have navigation? Uh, navigation? I, think I, I do. I think I do. Oh, no, I don't. I have, you, I have survival, but no navigate. I have both survival and navigation, right? Okay. Swan, mm. give us a navigation roll. Let's see if you I can, can find navigate us through the stars, but not through the woods. I feel stoned. <laughs> you're, still st- you're still stoned. Oh, no. We're gonna spend three hours, and we've only been like doing like a thirty foot circle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. we haven't gotten oh, anywhere. No. This person, this lady, is gonna starve to death waiting for <laughs> us to show up. Am I adding education or just just navigation? Yeah. Oh, I can. Okay, okay, you always so add a characteristic. Seven, eight, ten. Ten. Okay. Minus three. Yeah. Minus okay. three. That's with seven. the minus three. Wait, is it ten oh, minus it's three seven. or seven? No, it's seven. Okay, um, that is a marginal failure. So uh, you, uh, so you do find the river, uh, but it takes you the rest of the day. Like you, like you get there like when the sun is setting. Okay. All right, um, but I'm just gonna hand wave. You're able to like uh, take off your armor, bathe in the river, scrub out your like scrub out your eyes, and hopefully not with dirty river water, so you don't get any weird bacteria in there. But yes, you're eventually able to decontaminate yourselves. Uh, yeah, it's time for, and you're going to have to make camp back at the river again. So, <sighs> everyone give me a luck roll. Oh my oh. god. Aww. Oh, awesome. Eleven. Nine. Do we, do we have a minus three to this? No. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay. no. Eleven. Seven. Hey. Oh, Arthur. Oh no! Oh no! All because I spent that one point too. That one point <laughs> earlier yeah. actually pulled down. What my did you modifier. get for that? What What did you spend that on? I don't remember. We're extracting don't remember the uh, the, the, oh, the, si- the the psionic dampeners out of your yeah. out of your kidney. Yeah. Right. Maybe worth it. Maybe maybe worth it. I don't know. Uh, there's another storm tonight. <sighs> Does it so only land on Arthur? <laughs> if if we had kept cloud. going, the rain would have decontaminated us. We didn't have to go back to the river. That's so true. Oh. So true. Maybe well, not. someone could have predicted the rain was coming. Maybe someone yeah. with psionic abilities. Maybe someone- I can predict it because I have to make a luck roll to avoid it. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're you're going to always going to rain. You have to hu- you go and huddle underneath some sort of medium sized tree, and you all sleep poorly, and you're going to take a DM minus one for everything ne- in the next day. This but is such no a miserable camping Matthew. trip. But we no longer have the minus three because we washed in the river. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll take, a, I'll take a one over a three. Just remember, mm. nobody's cuddling with the Zodani. Everybody else, we're all going to be spooning. Yeah, we're okay. going to have the best time okay. spooning, and he's going to be alone and jealous. Yeah. All right, so you all spoon. <laughs> Bert, and, Bert and the Zodani sleep separately. Um, I'm glad to see you welcome Willa Dean back into your spooning party, though, after she abandoned you for six years. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that later, because we're dealing with this right now. But trust me, we haven't forgotten. We just want to know what happened during those six years. We have a lot of questions. I, I'd like, like to think I was just missed, and now you guys want me back. Well, I think, like, in a situation <laughs> oh. like this, you just kind of fall back into old patterns, because we were <laughs> together a yeah. lot longer than she we was spent apart from that's, us. That's years true. We were. Spooning. Yeah. Yeah, because we were because okay. we, we were stationed together, just basically by ourselves on on the station for a long right. time before we even we, we did this here, on the so. station too. Wow, yeah, of we, course, yeah, we spooned. <laughs> it took us a couple weeks before we all started spooning for the entirety 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Regalia said, you just, just pour pee on each other, y'all screwed <laughs> room. Right. <laughs> I'm learning well, so spoons. much about our characters <laughs> that I didn't know. <laughs> That's right. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> The next morning. <laughs> the next morning. Good morning. You see, morning, morning. Good morning. 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 <laughs> morning. morning. I wake up. Oh, just happy to be back spooning with my three best friends. Morning, everybody. <laughs> After spooning with a wet dog all night long. I, I missed the smell. I missed the smell. I a nine foot armadillo. I just. Yeah, I feel like you, you guys all spoon like, like, like spoons and then. Then Pug comes around and just like wraps himself around the whole spooning endeavor. Oh, yeah, like, like a, a rolling pony. Pony. I like to curl up around them. <laughs> yeah. The thing They're is, like in we, the middle we, of the ball. We didn't sleep well, which means Pug was in. I want to be the little spoon mood because none of us slept well. <laughs> none of us slept well. <laughs> Nobody, nobody sleeps well when Pug wants to be the little spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Including Pug, because you, you don't warm him. You're not, it's not comfortable. Enough. Yeah, it's not, I don't get the benefit. Um, all right, <laughs> so you set out uh, You set out back in the direction of the Jodani, the signal from the Jodani ship. Um, as you're walking, Avir uh, comes up to, really kind of sidles up to you. Like, Curious that in all your years out here, no one ever came looking for you. This is the loyalty the Imperium feels toward its people, yes? Well, we don't know. Who's he saying this to? Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. We don't know. How would they have any idea? Missed jump. Where to find us? Are you just throwing bobs to be rude? No, I just... I am impressed. Someone said they didn't get cuddled. (laughs) <laughs> Somebody missed the cuddle party last night And now they're a party pooper oh, Captain Moxley I'm, I'm surprised your fiance didn't uh, Didn't ever come looking for you And Bert looks, Bert looks over at you and he's like I did And I told you I got atta- attacked by a plant monster That made me pull a muscle And I have a scar on my cheek right here as well <laughs> Um f- Willadine sort of like twitches her head a little bit uh well um <clears throat> we were not really even officially uh par- engaged partnered up and it wasn't might not have it been maybe wasn't going to be and frankly not your that information is part of when it is private. <laughs> <laughs> nailed and she him. stops talking. <laughs> Fucking nailed him. Why? Like, <laughs> he turns the pug. Between, back. between turns Will and these, like, <laughs> awkward fiance, not fiance <laughs> relationship, but then my absolute failure with the Varger. But then our, our, what's this now it's revealed, our cuddling thing? I think I understood why none of yeah. us seemed to have relationships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this may have been the best thing for us, this whole situation. Yeah. The Probably best like and the worst, functioning. really. <laughs> and he turns, he, uh, he returns to you, Pug, and he's like, and you, your brothers, your three identical brothers, did not come looking for you? Hey, you don't know they're going to come looking for me. Well, they didn't find you, did they? Well, they're poor, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're very they're poor. Crazy. They're supposed to cross five sectors of space with no money. I was sending money back. How are they supposed to even afford to try to look for me, even assuming they could find me? You're just a real jerk, aren't you? And I lean down. Like right into his face, and I'm still I singing the Henry VIII I am song in my head. <laughs> I suppose I must be. Well, you know what they say about you, Jodani. I think it might be true. No, no, you, you tell me. What do they say? <laughs> I'm Henry VIII. I am Henry VIII. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm, and I just walk away singing that song. 
Um, out loud. All right. Uh, Bert, uh, that's, uh, we, you walk, if your walks on ahead and you follow him, you're guiding, he's guiding you toward, via the signal. And Bert uh, sidles up next to you, Will Dean, and he's like, as I, I, as I told, I told Dr. Tenner, don't trust a word out of that Shodani's mouth. It just means to sow discord. I understand that, and I believe that, but I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Is he using us as pack mules just to supply his needs for your ship? I'm still trying to wrap my head around his reasoning and his lady. I don't know. I don't know. How shall, how shall we proceed with her? How is she going to receive us? Not well. There's another Jotami that means... If she's alive, if she's still alive, then Jordani nobles, their psionic ability exceeds that of the intendants. It does not bode well for any of us. Well, I don't have any ill will. I mean, if they were to probe around in my head, do you? My secrets are my own, Captain. Well, not to them. And she smiles. He, he feels very discomforted by this, so he's, uh, he'll, he kind of walks up ahead as well. I'll see you later, Bert. Um, I'm and Henry the Eighth. I am. <laughs> She's <saying> too. <laughs> uh, you spend most of the day trekking across what is now open plain. So eventually, the forest kind of dwindles, and you're on open plain. These rolling hills all around, and it's actually quite beautiful. You know, kind of pure pastoral, undisturbed beauty. Uh, it just makes you think, like, what was this planet before the zoo ship crashed here? Like, it seems like it had its own ecosystem, but. What wildlife is original? What came from the zoo ship? It's only a century, but it's a long time, but not that long, like an evolutionarily long time. Um, That's what I'm wondering, if there's any native animal life on this planet, or if everything that is here was on this ship or, or similar ships. Um, that's a good question. Huh. I mean, obviously there was native plant life, I guess. Presumably, yeah. I mean, depending on how long this has been going on. I mean, maybe like the, the every living thing crashed. here. Yeah, I mean, um, maybe a few hundred years ago, like maybe. Um, eventually, you crest a hill and you see smoke twisting up into the sky. And Avir is like, my lady! And he just breaks out into a full sprint toward oh, the, the smoke. Oh, be careful. Well, oh, he's running. Okay. Full auto. Uh, uh, did you say full auto? Yeah. <laughs> 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 are, are you going to attack him? We should run after. We should run after him. Yeah, we start running after. Him. Gonna keep him I feel like you going to kill him. You going to kill him? You want to kill him? Kill him? No, no. <laughs> at, at some point, though, I do want to mention to to Pug. Um, so if he dies, evidently it sends a signal that uh, the power plant blows up, right? But it doesn't have to be. Conscious. Oh, yeah. See, you always were the smart one, Arthur. Yeah, I read you loud and clear. So, yeah, he's like thinking back, getting his uh, sleeper hold ready to ready to go. And if uh, he comes across this noble, and we got two of them, that'd be a lot harder. It's true. Do you follow? So full auto, but just tap him on the back of the head and knock him out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna gently fire uh, just 18 <laughs> rounds at the back of his head. <laughs> gently what? machine gun him in the back of the skull. <laughs> but <that'll... laughs> just hard enough to knock him unconscious. Just, just a gentle just, tap. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> soft soft like, <laughs> I want I do I want to try to catch up to him though for sure all right so you all run ahead oh, uh eventually yeah, you kind come of a about, precious commodity for us I think at this point <laughs> um well eventually you can you do catch up and you see the wreckage of the ship it's the the engine section of a, of a, a, a Jordani ship um if you have naval, I would say if you have naval tactics, roll naval tactics. If, if you, if not, you can roll education. See if you recognize the ship. Okay. At least let me know what you're rolling when you give me the number. I'm really well, minus need. one, right? With the yeah. minus one. Naval tactics. Oh, naval tactics. All right. Well, that's what I'm rolling. What do you? Oh. Mm. Ten. 
Eight. Ten, ed ten education. Mm -hmm. Eight naval tactics. Yeah, one. All right, you both Nine. recognize this as a Jodani Nins class scout, or at least it's the engine section of it. And now, and it, like it makes you think again, like what? What was a Jodani scout ship doing all the way out in the middle of the rift? Like, it's not Imperium space, but at the same time, it's nowhere near the consulate. And they'd have to like basically cross through Imperial space to get to here if they were. You could get around, but it would be quite, you have to like, you can't crash, like the Spinward Marches into Neb, the claw. It would take forever. It would take, you have to go around. they're running yeah. from, they were running is, from something. Is this the sec, is this the section that the power plant would be on? Yes, it is the, en you, the engine room would be back here. And, and um, Avira meant, like, it said as much that this is where okay. the, um, and you reach the wreckage, and Avira is just kind of tearing through, like, trying to find an opening to get in. He's going, my lady, my lady. And, he, and then he disappears into the ship. Oh, yeah, I'd like to get in there yeah. where the power plant yeah. is. Yep, yeah. we all go yeah. into the ship. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, my spear. Oh, it's actually, I'm going to do just a quick recon check on the around the outside area of the yep. ship. There we go. Uh, 12. 12. Yeah. I mean, so you, you see, like, it clearly, this, this, you can see where the ship crash landed and skidded the same as yours and you dug a furrow in the ground. Um, but no, nothing looks out of place and you don't notice anyone, anyone else or any other animals. Okay. Um, so you follow him into the ship. Yes, yep. We, yep. he knows his ship. We're going to follow him in. So I will say, even in, like with this crushed wreck, it feels very strange to you to step foot on a Jordani ship. I mean, Willadine, yeah. you uh, yeah. maybe Pug too. You've read briefing materials on Jordani tech, but even this, maybe, even, maybe it just feels it just feels deeply strange. Like huh. everything, yeah. it's like everything is kind of generally where you think it would be, but just a little different. Yeah, yeah like everything that. is just so it's very they they they're very alien. There's a very alien culture to what most like people in imperial space are used to, and it's all very mysterious because they're very secretive. I so, bet so, we've yeah, all seen strange a hundred movies that take place on a Zodati ship, mm. right? Yeah. And none of them look like what it actually looks like. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Everyone has like a British accent. It's like the equivalent of uh, Hunt for yeah. Red October yeah, exactly. or something. Everyone has like a, has a British, some of the people have British accents, some of them have Russian accents. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's very confusing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Avir is ahead of you. He's trying to squeeze through a semi-crushed corridor and working his way back into the engine room, but the way eventually is blocked by debris, a fallen bulk, and he's like, help me, help me someone. Oh, I'll go help. Well, she's, she's okay then, or at least she sounds okay. No, that's Avira is trying to get through the debris. Yeah. Oh. And he's asking mm -hmm. for help. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go help. Yeah. All right, yeah. give me a strength check. Uh, that is it athletics or just straight strength? Straight strength. Uh, Nine for Willadine. Nine Ooh. for me too. All right, so Pug and Willadine, you kind of like, he's like trying to lift it by himself and the two of you just kind of like join him and just shove the bulkhead forward. And he, he doesn't even stop to thank you. He just keeps rushing back into the ship. He um, wouldn't thank us. He's like, my lady, my lady. And then the door to the engine room presumably is closed. Uh, and he, he spun the wheel on it to kind of to the door locking wheel, but he still can't get the door to budge. He's straining with all his might to pull it. Oh, he turns back. He goes, "Help, please! Again, I need more, more." Yeah, I'll, I'll need try more. to help. Uh, Hold on. Uh, yeah, help. Mm, help uh, try. All right, strength check. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining yeah. like Andre the Giant and Manny Patinkin and Princess Bride, where he's trying to get through the door. Like, and, and he, like Andre the Giant just walks up and just opens it for him. <laughs> yeah. I got another nine. Great. Uh, eleven. All right, oh. Pug, you kind of shove both of them aside and just like rip the door, like rip the door open. <laughs> and oh. he, bur if you're burst into the engine room, and again, it's really weird. Like I would even say it's unsettling. Maybe not quite that, but it's not like, disturbing. But it's just like being in a place you're not supposed to be in, too. Mm -hmm. Like being in school after hours, where it's like you're like, mm -hmm. except this is like theremin you know, playing somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Uh, the engine room is in total disarray. So smoke is rising from smashed jump drive, consoles that are are just like have sparked forward. Occasionally sparks are still kind of sparking out of the con control panels. And Avir is uh, making his way through the smoke back into the fray. And then 
Eventually, lie, he sees lying there, partially crushed beneath a dislodged and toppled M drive, is a Jordani woman of late middle age. And you know, normally, you probably would guess she's immaculately put together, but like nary a hair out of place. But now she looks pretty bad. Like blood and soot are streaked across her face. She's looking very weak. She's fashioned like a crude tourniquet from a torn piece of her own uniform around her arm. But you can see the M drive is basically crushed the lower half of her body. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. She's like, and she, lo- she looks up at Avira and says, Oh, there you are. Too late, I'm afraid. And Avira is like, No, no, no. And he starts to like try to lift the M drive oh. off of her. He's like, Oh, and he's straining it he's with all of his might to lift it, but he can't I do think, it. I think also Willadine says, Don't. Don't, you'll kill her if you take She's that the only off thing holding her. her together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like, he looks back at you like with just like pure, like, you know, like kind of like, like it's just like that rage filled, like discombobulation that some people like when you're it's just like, he does yeah. not understand what you're saying and why you would say such a horrible thing. But mm-hmm. then the, the Shodani woman like reaches out and touches his ankle. And she's like, they're, they're right. It's, it's, it, this is it. He's like, no. No, please! I found I can I found out there. There's a doctor. There's a doctor. We can get you them. They get you there. And she's like, no, 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 go. And she she like pulls him. She like gestures for him to come in close. Oh, so sad now. And uh, she uh, he kind of sits down next to her and kind of lifts her upper body and cra- and cradles her. She's bleeding as she's ble- like actively bleeding. Her tourniquet has long since failed. And then she's like. And she gestures him close to her and uh he he's confused for a minute and then he understands and then they touch their foreheads together oh, damn wow i was like and, hoping my dog ears uh, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and uh and then she smiles and says don't lie to me boy i know what's about to happen you've done well i consider your service complete Again, come here, come here. And she gestures him in again, and he and she grabs his head and like yanks it down, so their foreheads are touching now. And he's like, and he like, after a moment, he's just like, no, no. She's like, survive, get home. And then she presses something into his hand, and it, like even though you're all watching intently because it's like it's a very vivid moment, you you don't notice the moment when she slips away and like like life slips away and she's mm. gone. I am and always will be your friend. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I was really thinking about just popping her in the head when we saw her. So I was like, oh, my lady! <laughs> but this is way better. <laughs> yeah, this is probably played out a little bit better. All the souls like, you've encountered <laughs> in your travels. Oh. Earth was the most human. Human. Uh, human. Uh. <laughs> Oh. So, is there a fire like extinguisher? Fire what does the Zodani fire extinguisher look like? Is there like <laughs> it's like it's like an earth fire extinguisher, except it's kind of like a, it's geometric. It's like a except it's blue. It's, it's, it's blue and it's angular. Yeah, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah start let's let's, let's out. stop this thing smoking, and um, we'll we'll talk to him later about you know, meets back on the table. But he probably doesn't want to hear that yet. And <laughs> yeah, we're all hungry. None of us have eaten since yeah. we left. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. <laughs> it's My God. <laughs> it's not cannibalism for me and Pug, but hey, different topic. Yeah, let's, no, this is, let's, it's fine. We can, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Yep, we'll burn that bridge <laughs> when we get there. So uh, I am actually going to try to, now that she has passed, I'm going to try to lift the M drive up enough that we can like get her out of there. Yeah, okay, it's um, heavy, but yeah, give me a strength check. All right. Uh, thirteen. Okay, he's Rah! sitting there. He's like, uh, Avir doesn't move. He's just sitting there cradling her, you know, her limp form. And you come in there and you just, and you <laughs> shove the, the M drive off her. And yeah, it was good that you didn't do it because like blood just gushes. Like it, it uh. was the it was the only thing holding her together. But Avir yeah, doesn't seem yeah. to be mad about it. Yeah. I think, uh, um, may, yeah, when Pug does that, maybe Willadine says, do you want to take her somewhere else? I, I, I don't know if there are any practices the Jordani do for their dead, but would you like to bury her or to 
to remove her from the ship. And this do- is just too much for him, so he just oh, he just like okay. he just like stands up and walks off the ship. That's okay. Mm, that's okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> And then Willie turns wink. around. <laughs> yeah. Big wink, big terms. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Tucked my lobster bib yeah. into she, my shirt. No, she takes a um, you know, something Some a sheet of plastic, <laughs> a sheet of plastic, or you know, some some drapery or something. She rips it and she uh, places it over the the woman's body. Mm. All right, and we'll see you after the after this break. <sighs> his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck. The trumpet has been sounded. The dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. And welcome back. Um, so just to move time forward a little bit and hopefully, uh, skip over any, uh, ethical dilemmas about cannibalism, uh, (laughs) which we don't do. We're not skipping over it. It's, it's not happening. Um, so (laughs) no, no, right. If you give me an engineering check to take a survey of what's, what's going on on this, in this engine room. Okay. Who's an engineer? Uh, uh nope. Bert, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Bert. Get off your ass, Honestly. Bert. I'll get on up. Get on in here, Bert. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right. I would like to do a comms though, electronics on this thing while he's doing that, to see if there is an actual dead man switch or if he was lying. And if there is, deactivate it. And if there's not, no he was lying. All right. I will help you with that. So yeah, roll on electronics comms if you want. All right, so I'll give you the I'll give you the results of Bert's uh, engineering check. So the J drive is smashed, just comp- like you're not using it. You're not you're not jumping out jumping anywhere on this. On this is show. Bert is that his specialty? Is the J drive? Uh, Bert has both. He spe- but he does. But his J drive is better than his M drive. Okay. Mm. Um, the M drive could be repaired, uh, but it looks somewhat foreign to you. And Avir is not an engineer, and Bert, uh, you know, is. Unwilling to take take on any more Jodani tech than that you absolutely have to. Yeah, actually, um, what we need is someone who really knows power plants. That's yes, and he, really and he and Bert can help you there. The power plant does appear to be operational. It's going to need um, some repairs, like mm-hmm. but not but minor repairs, really. And the, the the bigger challenge, Bert will tell you, is going to be how do you connect this to an Imperium ship? You know, it's just going to be. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be an issue. Um, duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> um, duct tape. Give me, give me the, give me that electronics, electronics comms I, check. It would have been a twelve, but I got a minus one, so eleven. Okay. Um, there is, it, there does seem to be the presence of some sort of signal. That you, yeah. signal and cabling that you're like you would recognize this as maybe like connected to a dead man switch of some kind. Mm. Why okay. it was key? It was key. It was key to the pilot and not to to the uh, the noble, but to you, the VIP. Hmm. And it's a good so, thing. It's also like confirming. Is this an actual thing? Okay. It is an actual thing. Yeah. You don't. Okay. Really, I would say you you'd be nervous to try to. It's not like directly connected to the power plant. It's just kind of in the ship's programming. Okay. Um, look, in a bit, we're going to have to disconnect this, and then we're going to have to get it all the way to the other ship, kind of like that movie Sorcerer. Uh, so oh, that's. Man. <laughs> or I mean, uh, uh, The Wages of Fear, uh, which also has a similar. Or could we get the M drive? You said work, and we could, like, get this janky wreck over to that janky wreck, and we could jank them together. This thing definitely yeah. won't fly. It's only like half okay. a ship. Okay, okay. 
But yeah, I you mean, do bring up the the bigger the bigger challenge that lies before you is this is like, you know, a five hundred something pound piece of equipment that you're going to have to get all the way back to the cape. You don't have to get it up onto the mountains, but you do have to get it back to the cape. I, I mean, we carry have, it on top of my head. We have cayenne, <laughs> like we would be strong? able. We could make, well, I mean, if we get them as a herd, like a pack of three, we could get a sled or like a, a rope. Yeah, we're going to a sled. Yeah. Some, Good idea. Yeah, we need, yeah <laughs> like a sledge <laughs> or, yeah. Um, does, uh, does he have an air raft? Is there an air raft on this thing? Oh. No, not that survives. <sighs> this guy um, sucks and his ship sucks. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, my, let's check in on Avir. Uh, he's, oh. he's like just got, he has um, gone over to the, uh, like a copse of trees outside if you look out on him and he is just like he has taken what looks like some sort of ceremonial blade like a ceremonial naval blade and he is just trying to chop down trees oh I thought you were going to say something else yeah I thought oh, he was going to do I was like what are you going to chop up <laughs> he's, 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 he's clearing the road so we can get to the cake that's cool um, I don't think that's what he's doing it's going to probably burn her it's gonna smell so good. I'm gonna hate it. Um, <laughs> Man, mouth watering just thinking about it. Don't kill him. <laughs> no, no. Do Barbecue. Him. No. Well, well, thinking while about he's this cremation. Also I'm just distracted, so hungry. Matthew. I'm like, I don't want to mess with the dead man switch. I will let somebody way more capable, or we'll just keep him in a coma. Uh, is there like any Zodani tech or computers or anything? Like, we can come back heroes. Um, yeah, I mean, just our sense of imperial duty would be kicking in right now if we had roll on electronics. Mm-hmm. Like computers do, or anything? Yeah, well, whatever you want to look for. Computers, comms, sensors. Comes to a 10. I mean, yeah. It's all Zodani tech. So you think, I mean, if you want to try to like, it's not like laptops or anything. So you'd have, it's be, you'd be like pulling out panels or, you know, data cores, that kind of thing. If you want oh, to try. Can we comb through their jump dra- data and oh, compare yeah. it against what we already have? Sure. Um, you sit down at this, you sit down at one of the terminals though, and it's keyed to one of the Jodanis. So you would either need to hack in or wait for chop off just her hand just a finger yeah <laughs> i mean her body's her, right there Did, is her, it a, i just yeah, lift up the, yeah. the pinched severed torso <laughs> is it a like hand? Press her face <laughs> into the, the, as you're considering the, the, all these the options of, <laughs> oh, jesus we're awful we're <laughs> such, 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 such we didn't kill her <laughs> we're just, just i killed her but. it's just a little morbid there's nothing really no one's getting hurt <laughs> anymore. <Sure>. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're just desecrating it. <laughs> yeah, we're just desecrating the corpse. It's uh, as you, victimless crime. Classic as you try to find crime. excuses in your minds for those moral quandaries, uh, Ivir comes back on the ship and he, he picks up the body of the noble and he carries her out and he's constructed a, a, a crude funeral pyre. <sighs> you don't mind. And then he, he, he places her there gently and then he comes back in and he... Uh, he, uh, he, he keys open one of the terminals and he, he's, I'm deactivating the dead man switch. And then he, he's like all business, like to, like 100% focus. And he's, and he's like, he, he looks, he like glances up at you the way you look, someone looks up at you when they're trying to type their password in. Um, and you're like, oh, am I supposed to look away? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so yeah, he, he's open the terminal. He's like, dead man switch is deactivated. Uh, and he, he's gonna run the, he's gonna do the electronics check to, to, to disable any kind of security measures, and then he's going to shut the ship down. And he's like, "Let's let's get the power plant off." Mm-hmm. So okay. it's going to be an okay. electronics yes. check to disconnect it. Uh, um, yeah, because we've never really been on a Jordani ship before, so <laughs> this is yeah. going to be a hard check. I'm assuming it's, it's, it's so a stra- day of it's first. so strange to you on and Avir will, re- will roll and he'll roll a three. So yeah, he'll need some help to disconnect it. He's he's too. He keeps crying as he's trying to like. (laughs) (laughs) That salt water is no good for the electronics. Uh, Lisa, do you want this one, or I could take it either way. I do have this one. I have electronics. Come on, yeah. 
This is gonna be a straight electronics for this one because it's uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay, great. All right, so yeah, you're able to kind of uncouple the power plant from all of its cables, and then um, you maybe take a minute to gather all of those cables and kind of add a sampling of other equipment. You're gonna, you might think you might need to to can adapt and connect it to the Kate, uh, yeah. and then it's gonna be a strength check to get it off. Pug, you're you gonna need your help. Pug. I'll <laughs> try. Or you, a cat there, or something. I mean, are there Pug. any so Donnie like? Walkers like over you, bitch, or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your strength, Pug? Uh, fifteen. I mean, I think you could lift. Uh, you could lift. I think you could lift five hundred pounds. Yeah, You're nine I don't think foot I could, tall. Yeah, I, I don't know if you carry it. Yeah, like, but you can get it off. I think you can get like, it off. Get off the ship. Yeah, yeah. lift with your knees. Uh, that's a twelve. Okay. Yeah, you're able to kind of muscle it off. You like you kind of do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Duck walk. <laughs> yeah. Out of the ship. And you get it off the ship. Uh, and then Avir, uh, he, uh, as night falls, he lights the funeral pyre for his noble. And you get, he doesn't say anything out loud. Whatever he's doing is happening silently. Psionically. Or psionically. Oh. Um, and he, uh, he, you know, his tears are streaming down his face. And then the embers from the, the, the fire float up towards the sky. Um, and then he, uh, the next morning, I'm, you're gonna have to make, make camp here, presumably. Yeah. So what's, are you gonna make a sledge and just have Pug drag it back, drag the power plant back? We could do that. Yeah. Or the tarp. <laughs> or even yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see the like, tarp because it keeps raining. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if this scout ship had anything we could do with this, like, are there any like cargo, wheeled things is it have a wagon know, like does it have a wagon does it have uh, a, a dolly for instance a dolly <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, just someone like has a, a, to big, have a dolly on the ship you're right a, a big yeah. janky refrigerator dolly in the corner that somebody <laughs> stole from the home depot or uh, uh, let's throw luck yeah so uh, who, who who's got good luck who's got good luck right now yeah, i've who, got plus one, one. Okay, I, that's better. I have zero you do sorry. it you do All it right. yeah skid go ahead and roll luck uh 11 all right, oh. you're, let's say I will say you're able to find, yeah, it's not like a crew, like a like a crude equipment dolly or something in the engine room that you could attach to uh, the tarps and make something you could drag with with more ease. Yeah, okay. sort of adapt it to an overland yeah. assisting. Okay, you're awesome. still gonna have to drag 500 pounds of machinery behind you, but right. But that, if I have any sort of like wheeled thing, like I can I can do that with my strength and my endurance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can do yeah, this all day. Because otherwise, like, we're, like, pulling off one of those little sliding doors and laying it down as a sled. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, I could do that. It's just um, weird because if you look at, like, Zordani, like, ship sort of, how it's laid out, I guess they use teleportation to move a lot of things. <laughs> or dolly randomly and makes it... <laughs> yeah, they, they so they're... <laughs> they're teleport but so they can, like, teleport themselves, right? Themselves, with their, yeah. Some of them. With and their, actually, uh, you, you can't... So I'll, I'll, this is this, you, your character might or may not know this, but yeah, you can as a Jonani, you can teleport yourself, and Ooh. you can only wearing teleportation armor. Otherwise, you can't teleport your armor with you. Oh, oh that's interesting. Cool. Fun. That's cool. Yeah, huh. and, and, and then like things will heat up if you go to a spot that's like too far and stuff. So it's like teleportation is really complicated and really scary. Uh, yeah, it looks. So, yeah, I'm reading. It's kind of weird. Because it's like. Oh, you want to teleport to another part of the planet? Cool. Well, that part of the planet's spinning faster for where it is than where you oh, start God. off. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. It's like, oh, wow, that's terrifying. It's yeah. so, wow. It's, that's just, exa- you sound like Bones McCoy. <laughs> like, just so not having my, my atoms my scattered, scattered, scattered half thousand, across yeah. the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So you've got this functional power plant now. Okay. You've got an you need to get it back to the Kate and then you're going to need to get it installed in the Kate and the electronics patched. And then you're, now you're powering a ship with a piece of Zodani equipment. So you're going to need to troubleshoot and test that probably before you even get it off the ground. Yeah. Um, probably going to need Plurn, Bert and a few of you working together to get the installation at least. But the first thing you need to do is get back. Yeah. Um, so you've got your, you've got your, your sled. 
Uh, and right before you leave, um, Veer kind of, you're ga- maybe you're gathering cables or other kind of equipment that you, that, that you think would be useful. And Veer kind of okay. barges his way back into the engine room. He's like, I ne- all of you need to leave now, please. Okay, Par- like, pardon? also we should, like a toolbox that can work on this thing. I mean, like, we, we only have Phillips heads where we're from, and like, you've got yeah. this. He grabs, like, the emergency <laughs> toolkit. <laughs> And shoves it into your arms, and then he just turns around. And he just goes to start. He like de- bends down in front of the the uh, the M drive, and he just like he like rips open a panel, and he just starts like fiddling inside. And he turns back and he says, I suggest were now. Any, were there any state rooms on the ship? Like, did I get to steal any sheets? Like clean sheets? That would cool. Oh, that okay. would. Hey, cool. I'll leave. Nice. I'll leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy to let you roll luck on on sheets. Do it. I'll take it. I got, I got a minus. Roll well, luck care. on sheets. <laughs> sheets, like. Yeah, just sheets. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it would have been a nine minus a seven. So you go, well, you go try to, you go try to pilfer some sheets, but then you, you find that they're really kind of scratchy. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're not nice at all. Classic Every bazaar I went to, they're all like Zodani sheets. They get the thread cut. They're all bunk, all of them. They have no, scratchy no. sheets. Jeez. It's the lower tech level. They, they don't. They don't have the same sheet technology as the Empire does. The movies always make such a big deal about the sheets, and right. it's not true. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that's just yeah. not true. <laughs> Willa Dean's right. eyes are wide open, baby. Yep. Learning so much. <laughs> Willa Dean leaves the ship. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the ship, but it's scratchy sheets. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you leave too. the ship, yeah. and a few minutes I, later... I'm going to ask him what he's going yeah. to do. Uh, he doesn't reply. He says, forward. He's and he just blo- starts walking away from the ship. Sh- is he and yeah, the eventually, sh- when he gets a safe distance away, he turns around, and he, pull, he look, pulls up his personal computer, and he just do- he punches, in a few, uh, punches in a code, and the ship just goes... <laughs> and, it detonate, and detonates. What? Ooh. I am duty-bound not to let any Jodani technology fall into the wrong hands. Yes, but what if we... I should have stolen those sheets! <laughs> <laughs> they were scratchy, um, but they were clean. <laughs> they were clean. Um, okay, well, cool. Was, we, got, we got a lot of cables. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. But, yep. Mm-hmm. I understand. We did the same thing <laughs> to so our hug. station. I'm going to need uh, an endurance check from you. To, to just kind of clock speed, how fast you're, how fast you're moving. Ah. Okay. Is this uh, athletics? Just straight endurance. Well, I guess, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, nine. Okay. You make steady progress, but not speedy progress. You're, you're going, like you're going over, up and down, you know, over hill, yeah, over dale. Like uneven wilderness. The 900 pound load. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And like you're able to pull it, but it's like you have to, you have to kind of keep, you know, pace yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one is helping you. I'm not sprinting, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, okay. Willadine is like sitting on top of it. What? Is it yeah. bothering, is it bothering <laughs> you? No, no, it's fine. Uh, get a better view from up here. Get some rest. <laughs> get some rest. I, 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 I will idea. offer to at least try to help Pug, but. You know, yeah, why wouldn't we be helping him with that? He's got a strength of 15, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, I, I imagine Pug is just kind of like shrugging off all help. He's just like, yeah, this, this is, is like, easier oh, for to... You guys just... You, you're, you're fine. You're fine. You know, like a, like, a, like a bar in front of you, and you're just like, ah, it's got some cables <laughs> going to your sleds. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, you spend most of the day walking. You're still, you still don't reach the forest. Um... But it's you know it's mid afternoon by now, and you then you you crest a hill and you see the woods up ahead. Um, do you and you think maybe this would be a good place to make camp? Probably. And what does the sky up? look like? Sky looks pretty clear. Okay. Okay. Um, and Pug, you are tired. Like you spent a day just dragging this yeah. over uneven, as you said, over uneven wilderness. Yeah. Um, so you, yeah, what are you, we eating, by the way? Do we do we bring like rations and stuff, or what do we think? I don't know. What do you think? Pemmican. We're probably like, eating those those big birds. The 
cayenne oh, jerky. The, oh, the uh, uh, I keep wanting to call them like chupacabras. It's like I know it's not that. But, yeah, cayennes. Chocobos. Because it's so close to chocobos, which is what they actually are. Chupacabra jerky. What's a what? What's a what? What is a chocobo? What do you say? From from Final Fantasy, the giant birds. Oh. Oh. I um. Wow. Final Fantasy is a major blind spot for me. No okay. one knows Final Fantasy here. No one's a Final Fantasy freak. I only know it through a la Kingdom Hearts, so I have a minimal. Oh, it's a second hand. Yeah, minimal understanding. Mm. I know wow. some. Okay. Well, Sorry, they are, kind of, they are kind of like I'm a, Jokobos. I'm a little surprised. I'm embarrassed. It's just, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a it's an embarrassing blind spot for me. Yeah. Wow. I just assumed that everyone would immediately get that reference. It's, later, uh, later, Skid, I would like you to recommend which game I should start with, but we can uh, talk seven. about this. Oh, oh, that was easy. Yeah. All right. Or six. <laughs> Go to okay. seven, seven, then six, and then, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, all right, so you all bed down. Give me, everybody give me your recon check. Ooh, uh, oh, Twelve. Okay. Crushing these recon checks. You really are. Eight. <sighs> And, uh, I would say uh, from you, eleven, it's, unless it's sight needed, and then it's, it's uh, it is sight needed. Actually, okay. you know what? Smell can you can use smell for this. <laughs> eleven. So uh, Arthur, you smell it about the same time. Pug, you see something. It's that particular odor that comes right before a storm is about to hit. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> we have seven wires and stuff. Petricor. Petrichor, yes. Well, no, Petrichor is the the, oh, that's is the, after is the rain in the uh, yeah. yeah, I love that word. Um, that's a great word. Um, all right, so you know from experience that, the, that once the rain begins, the lightning will start striking almost immediately. And storm systems on this planet roll, roll on very quickly. So if you had to put a number on it, I'd say you think you have about six seconds to act. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, it really is coming fast. Because Can we're going to roll, roll for initiative. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. Why? Can you describe where we are? We have are to fight the rain? Again? <laughs> yeah, to fight yeah the wait rain. a second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stay down. <laughs> like Lucy and Dan. Just. <laughs> oh, yeah. I rolled a, a sad, pathetic little five. Okay. You, you, well, before we reveal, does anyone want to make a tactics roll? Oh. Someone should. I, I will. I forgot good. about that, but I will. I forgot. Like two episodes ago, I forgot about in the Valrock fight. Not that you needed it as you pick them all off. This is the thing about traveler combats. Like I've, I've been, I'm trying to throw hard stuff at you guys, but you're just it's hard to hurt people in traveler. We got a yeah. bug with a minigun, man. What are you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10 for a tactics roll. Okay. So everyone gets a plus one to their, I'm sorry, plus two to their roll. Seven oh, for me then. Okay, so seven for Willadine. Uh, ten for Pug. Okay. You still have a minus one? No, no. not today. Sorry. Okay. Oh eight. right. Nine for Swan. Nine for Swan. Eight mm -hmm. for eight for Arthur. Yep. Okay. So let me describe the situation, then we'll talk about how this little game is going to be played. It's a mini game. Um, so the woods are about twenty-five meters away. Uh, you're, and so you, you, the storm is about to hit the power plant. You would be worried about it being exposed to the water. So I'll give you that. So you can roll if you want to roll recon to see if there's a good way to go. If there's anything you notice, you're welcome to do that on your turn. Um, but yeah, you're gonna have to try to get the power plant into some sort of safety in addition to yourself. Cause there's, there's going to be lightning. Spoilers. Um, Are we okay. on the hill? You're in the hilly area. You're about 25 meters away from. It's like kind of rolling, rolling. Oh, so we couldn't like ride the whole thing down like a sled. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a dex check. Uh, okay. So round one, Pug, you act first. Well, we we do have that tarp, right? We do have some tarps it, from so. from Swan. <laughs> I don't so. We have a few tarps. I mean, we could put it over the machine. Is it yeah. waterproof? Specifically, it was, right? Like, it was waterproof? Alicia, yeah, or? all sorts of things. Let me get it out. Yeah, this right. tarp does everything. By the way, <laughs> if we did bottle caps, I would definitely give you a bottle cap for that tarp. 
Yeah. I was, yeah, that was really it, a when clutch. When you brought it up last episode, I knew this was coming, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like, if, if, if we have it and it's available, I'm going to try to cover the thing with it. So my intent is to try to cover the power plant with the tarp and then try to get it covered and then try to wheel it into the tree line. Okay. Um, everybody give me a recon check. Everyone? Okay. Everyone. Or a survival check. If you okay. prefer to roll survival. Oh, Ooh, way. I'm so, so, God, seven, oh. 12 with my survival. Okay. 12 survival. Anybody beat a 12? Uh, 10 uh, recon. Also a, also a 12. Okay. Nice. With your 12s, you notice in a there's a, a nearby hill about 10 meters away uh, that has what looks like a tunnel, like a large tunnel dug into the side. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dug Close. into the side? Yes. Not by a human. Yeah. Oh. So, but at least we could go, I mean, we could go two feet in and still yeah. be mm. out of the car. Yeah, Willadine says, looks like there's a cave. It could be an animal, but let's head that direction. <laughs> Okay, right. it's just yeah, like the Hobbit. We'll, we're gonna we'll find the Goblin bridge. King. We'll burn that bridge. Yeah. There's gonna be there. swords in there. So there's yeah. gonna be all kinds of yeah stuff from the first stage. I'm gonna yeah I'll start running towards the hole. Well, hang on. So we want to cover the cover the thing with the tarp, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's three meters. That should be that's that's plenty okay. plenty big. Okay. And is it water? It is waterproof. I'm assuming so. Let me check really fast. Is it, the what's the point of a tarp, it's a tarp if it's tarp. not waterproof? Yeah, it's a tarp. You well, would use it to like. Camo. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I guess that's true. See what it looks like. It's Does it say it? Does it say anything? Oh, a match well, tarp. Waterproof. Um, it's weatherproof. Okay. Aha. There you go. Great. Aha. Boom. Three meters. Oh yeah, I, I'm looking at the picture right now. That's cool. A match Pretty tarp. Yeah. Pretty cool awesome. tarp. <laughs> Holy shit! They're 250 credits. But I have a little money though. Remember. Yeah. Oh, we did have a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> Nothing to spend it on for years. So, um, okay. So I'm gonna we just so let's say blew it all on tarps. <laughs> you, we're gonna spend the first round, all of you, getting the tarp out, and you're working together to cover the cover the 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 thing, yeah. the power plant. Um, all right, round two. The rain, the sky opens up, and rain begins to fall. Uh, but luckily, your tar- your your power plant will not take any will not be at risk for damage. Um, okay, uh, what do each of you want to do? Get in the cave anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> even with the tarp, I think you'd we'd want to minimize any chance that it would mm-hmm. get wet. Okay, yeah, yeah. And this yeah. is our op- our one opportunity to get off this planet. So I, I yeah, would I would like to assist Pug in getting this thing to this cave. Yeah, I think Willadine does too. All right. As One does not. That's just possible. <laughs> Noted. Right, so let's go. There. So Swan, well, we'll take you. I'll move out of an issue. So you're just going to move to the cave. She, you know, Swan is barking orders. Oh. All right. So Swan. Good. Good. About and, getting it, like, making sure it doesn't get wet. Keep walking. Make a left. No, more right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, so the, you're going to, your pace is going to be slowed, uh, Pug, to a meter per round while you're dragging this thing. Even with okay. help from... If you guys succeed at your strength checks, okay. I'll, we'll, I, I'll adjust that. I, I am going to do something they've probably only seen once before. I would like to do a psionic enhanced strength. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. wow. Which will up Wait. my strength by however many psi points I dump into this uh, for... Uh, equal to the effect of the check times 10 minutes uh, that uh so it'll last a bit so if i can do this i would like to i would like to popeye beef up real fast cool all right so let's say it's it's gonna take this is gonna be your significant action this round is to activate your psionic ability and oh yeah i've got to dust off this part of my brain okay (laughs) yeah all right i don't Uh, think you've i don't think you've ever used this during gameplay so, Not during gameplay, but there's a couple years ago, and we're trying to get the fence posts up. But that's yeah, about it. yeah. We've seen this. It's like whoa, mind over matter. <laughs> oh, no. How you looking? You look swole. 
What are you doing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. okay, great. I was about to say, what are they doing? I'm like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Will, Willa Dean, give me a strength check. Um, okay, so I rolled an eight with my strength, but if I add my athletics, it would be a nine. Wait, so you, you say you want to use an athletics? Is an athletics strength? It's a dexterity. So no. Can't. Okay, that's an eight. <laughs> okay, an eight. All right. So you're able. You're. We'll we'll basically boost pug uh, pug your speed to a meter and a half per round. Okay. So let's keep track of that. So you go. And how many meters we have to go? Seven. Ten. No. Okay. All right. So you go a meter and a half this round. I'm assuming you're just gonna start dragging pug. Yeah. All right. Round three. The rain continues to fall. Uh, and da, 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 yep, okay, the tarp is gonna be fine. All right, and lightning strikes. Ugh. So, here's how we're gonna run this little mechanic. We're all gonna roll luck, and whoever oh. rolls the lowest will be struck by lightning. Oh my oh, god! Oh no! Unless, <laughs> so it's, I think, right, well, I'm barking orders. <laughs> whoever rolls the lowest below eight. So if you fail the check and you roll low, you'll be struck oh, by lightning. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, so we don't know what the check is, though. That's the magic of the thing. It's an average check. You just you have to you have to hit an eight, eight or above. Uh, I got a nine. All right. Wait, Pug, what do we good. add? Is it straight luck? Straight luck. Yeah. So you add your luck modifier. Uh oh. Arthur, what did you get? Seven. Okay. Swan, what did you get? Seven. Okay. Willadine, what did As you get? touching fingertips. Oh, no. Six. Forked lightning. Six. Yeah, six. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I gotta, no. Give me one second. I need to get my Seth Skorkowski dice. Oh, my oh, God. No. <laughs> Getting struck by lightning. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the worst day of my life, and I'm, I've had so many worse days. So It is like the epitome of bad luck, oh. being struck by lightning. <laughs> oh. So I don't know if you remember this from last season, but one of the dice you get if you buy the Seth Skorkowski uh, RPG dice is you get a twelve-sided D six, which is one of my, which is my, maybe my oh, favorite. Oh, you love you love the twelve-sided D six. It is my favorite. Um, uh, uh, the other thing you might remember from last season is that when I used it in a combat, it got really deadly. Um, oh boy. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So your your armor will you're, you'll be able to soak up some of this with your armor. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, 14 points of damage. Oh my gosh. You got eight. hit by lightning. Yeah. I'll, eight, I'll no. soak up eight <laughs> points of that. Okay. Oh God. And then I need to take off. I start with uh, endurance, right? Endurance, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we gotta give. We gotta give first aid like as soon as possible too with the mechanics. Yeah, you do. Okay, so. Uh, let's start at the top of the round. Pug, I assume, uh, you rolled first, but I'm assuming you're gonna t accept help from Arthur, excuse yeah. me, and Willadine. So yeah. let me, so Arthur, Willadine, and Evere will actually assist as well. Give me your strength checks. Uh, 10 for Pug. You're good, Pug, you're good. You're, oh, I don't, okay. I'm assuming you're strong enough. Yeah. All right, Willadine, what'd you get? Oh, sorry, uh, you said strength? Yeah. I was trying to see if I was going to die. Um, You'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Another eight. Okay. And Arthur? Uh, Twelve. I have a strength of 15. Wow. And this is wow. only going to last 10 minutes. Wow. Yes. I didn't know you got that strong. That's awesome. All right, I dumped so all six points into this, so my nine went up to a 15. But wow. my effect was one. So this is only going to last 10 minutes. So it is just... <laughs> so the rain is pouring down, like dumping buckets on top of you. Lightning, uh, like a bolt of lightning, like cracks across the sky and just strikes Willadine. <laughs> but even so, she shoves her shoulder into the back of the power plant to help it move. Avir also pushes it from the back, and then all of a sudden, this wildly jacked Varger <laughs> turns around and just goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, that's that's gonna move. That's gonna get your speed up to three meters. I'll give you Whoa, this. Whoa! Okay. No, wait, yeah, because you got you got some you got some help. Oh, wait, no, it was half a person. 
it's going to get your speed up to two and a half meters. So you're up to four meters. You have six meters to go. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, round four. Okay. Uh, so first things first, the rain continues to pour. Not don't have to worry about damage to the power plant. Basically, the way I was going to run this little mini game is it was going to be a 10% chance the first round, 25, 50, and increasing. And the longer you left your, that they would take damage from the water. Uh, but you covered it with a tarp, oh. so you're all good. Yeah. Jokes okay. on you, Matthew. Weatherproof. So, however, because <laughs> Alicia brought freaking weatherproof tarps into space, which was the I greatest. Know. That was the <laughs> most <laughs> clutch <laughs> bit of equipment ever. Like that Genius. was that was awesome. Um, so you, <laughs> the the downside now is we have an additional an additional obstacle, which is the muddy ground. So you're going to take a minus Ooh. one meter penalty to your oh movement. So we have help. This be like pouring. It's pouring. Yeah, really it's coming pouring. Out. Oh no! Um, Storm season. All right, and then the lightning strikes. This time there's going to be two bolts. So everyone roll luck. I'm going to die. I know. Why is lightning striking us right now? <laughs> You're the tallest thing in the area. Oh, thank God. Seven for Pug. Oh, no. Okay. Seven for Pug. Ten. For one. Ten. Arthur. Eight. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was a nine for Willadeen, so I made it. <laughs> So, Pug, uh, you will take a lightning bolt strikes you as you crest the hill. Oh, no! Okay. Ooh. 15 points of damage. <gasps> oh. Oh, but you have armor. Man, you have I do. Yeah. And I have my subdermal armor, too. Yeah. But uh, that's still three points of uh, that gets through. Oh, right. three points get through. Skid. Skid, I have three in my endurance now. <laughs> that, oh, that's no. a lot. I'm very ill. No. Okay, uh, who is doing what? Uh, you, Swan, are you making your way towards the tunnel? <laughs> yes. Trying to dodge light <laughs> you gotta, bolts from the also, you, you should kind of honestly. You should just get in the tunnel. I'll you should just that, get in the tunnel because like that wait, tunnel out. Yeah, yeah. wait. If, if I noticed my friends being struck by lightning, I think I would stop to try to help. I don't think I would keep going. <laughs> but you can't no, do anything. You can't do you anything. You can't for really me. do anything. So the best thing to do is just make make sure that you don't get struck by lightning. Yeah, you're gonna have to treat you know? me, help me once I'm inside. Okay, a Swan sort of like split second looks at you guys, and you're like, go! With, go! with my luck, it is a matter of time before I get hit. So we just gotta get this thing out. Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah, Swan. Ah, just like, All right. So. You, Swan, you and Bert, actually, all, you both run for the, you both run for cover. There's no real room at the power plant anymore, so Bert's like, just get, get in, get in, get in, get, get, get in. <laughs> uh, and you both get into the tunnel, roll recon in the tunnel. There's something in there, isn't he? It's the plant monster that, oh. that I ran into years ago. <laughs> you're, I, I hope it eats Your nemesis, Bert. the plant monster. The plant monster's back. It's like, you stole my <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your salad. I'm not your salad. <laughs> what'd you get? What'd you get on the recon? Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, so you see this has been dug out by some sort of creature. And as a xenobiologist, I'll just give it to you, you recognize it as those centipedal creatures you fought back nope. when you first crash landed. I knew These it. are their tunnels. But we just have to be quiet. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, Pug, I'm assuming you're moving forward. Arthur, Wildedean, Evere are going to give you some boost. Uh, so I'll roll for... Okay, uh, Evere helps. Give me a strength check, Arthur and Wildedean. <sighs> okay. Seven. I'm, I slipped in the mud. Box, cars. Ooh. That's 12, 13 with my strength. Okay. Uh, I will give... For the boxers, I'll give you an additional half meter. So you, you're... <laughs> you're like you're like fried from the light from the lighting bolt and you're just like adrenaline you, I get like a adrenaline. spike yeah. of adrenaline and I'm moving you know lifting a car off a baby yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you get one meter for pug uh half a meter for a veer it's a meter and a half another full meter for Willa Dean that's two and a half minus one for the model panel pen, muddy penalty so you get to five and a half meters okay there's four and a half meters to go Okay. We could do this next round. We could get out of into the tunnel the next round. Yes, yeah. we could do All this. Right. The, lane, the rain continues to, to pour down, uh, and then we have three lightning bolts this round. Oh, oh so my God. Swan and Bert are safe. Everybody else roll luck. 
Not today, Satan. Nine. Is it good? Uh, mm. No, Willa D. Wait, mm. anything, anything. That's a <gasps> that's a seven. One. Add. One. That's, one. Who rolled a one? How is that possible? Because Lies. I have a minus. Oh, he had minus luck. He spent all his luck. He spent all his luck doing surgery to himself in the bathroom. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. So uh, let's uh, let's deal with this damage. Okay, Willa Dean. Ten points of damage. Okay, that's actually. So I have one in my endurance. Okay. Oh Just man. And one Arthur. Left. <laughs> Seventeen points of damage. Oh. oh. You still standing? Woof woof. Uh yeah. Uh, so my <laughs> my armor bark, bark, will soak bark. up eight, so that gives me nine. My endurance okay. was a ten, so. Will it eat and I are part of the one endurance one. crew. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. We We're get the to be w- the small spoons tonight. We have earned this. <laughs> yeah. you've, you've earned the small spoon spot. I want a little back rub too when I'm oh, the small spoon. I want you a little it. back rub. <laughs> All right. The ground has continued to get muddy and you will now suffer a one and a half meter penalty. Wow. You son wow. of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute son of a bitch. So give me those strength checks. I don't want to. I don't want to. All right, Avir succeeds. Oh, nice. There's nothing we can do. Ten. Wait, Arthur, I mean, Arthur, does your strength degrade over time or no? In general. It'll be several minutes, so it'll be okay. it'll be well after this, but only ten. But, yeah. Unless you get hurt, too. Did you get it? Did you get Arthur, Willadine, you both got it? Ten, yeah, mm-hmm. I got it. Ten, great. Uh, nine. Nine, okay, great. So that's going to be one and a half plus plus. So it's two and a half. So you only move a half meter this round. Oh my god! Okay. I shoot the sky with my gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it is now round six. Which, if you hadn't covered the power plant, it would have been a one hundred percent chance the, the power plant took damage. Uh, okay. Uh, everybody, roll luck for lightning. Uh, nine. Okay. Eight. Okay. Six. Oh, oh Arthur! Oh, oh no! Oh, Arthur! Okay, I may have something after Ar- you die. <laughs> Arthur gets struck by lightning. Oh, oh Arthur too on the rocks. It's it's because I got so big, you know, like before yeah, I was so small. Bigger yeah. target yeah. for the lightning. Yeah. 11 points of damage for, from the lightning strike. So then after his endurance goes down, you take it from your strength, from your dex? Either. Or both. Uh, you can t- you can split it as split you it, want. Okay. Um, but if one of the, if either one strength or dex goes to zero, you fall unconscious. Got it. Shit. Okay. All right. Uh, Arthur and Willadine and Avir, give me those strength checks. Okay. I only have a plus two to this now. Nine. Okay. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, 12. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, dirty 12, I'm assuming? Yeah, because you have a plus two. Okay. Uh, and if your helps as well. Uh, so, yeah, you're, same thing as last time. You, you hit the muddy ground, though. You move you move a meter forward. Um, How far are we? Do we have three, one meter yeah. left? You're three meters away. Three? Oh, my God. But on the plus side, oh it seems God. like this ground is more rocky, so it's not as muddy. Okay. Oh. All right, round seven. <laughs> All right, everyone give me a luck roll. Uh, okay. Oh my God. Nine. You're good. Eight. You're good. Okay. Good, you got it, yeah. Arthur? Nine. All right, oh, you're good. Oh, and Avir, thank God. Oh. Okay. Avir made it as well. Okay, give me those strength checks. <laughs> Oh, nine. Okay. Plus three, 11. 11, okay. Uh, so you're just gonna take a one meter penalty on this one. So you're able to get two meters. You think you'll be able to get there in the next round. Oh. You know, 
and I will hand wave it because you, Pug, you can do the last round. Yeah, I was just gonna pick it up and like caber toss it into the mouth of the cave. <laughs> yeah, we just run into the cave <laughs> and then. Okay. Did you toss it on the Zodani. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, throw it like, just he, like your master. <laughs> he was like just the right. whole time, pushing behind oh. you. Okay. All oh, right. Um, all right. You are now in. So you're now in the mouth in the mouth of the little tunnel cave. Would you like to do some first aid? Yes. 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 Help me. I have a med kit. Uh, yep. TL8. Who's the best uh, m- medical doctors? I'm I have, you a, have. I have a plus two. Oh, you are then. Oh, and the med kit, I think, gives you a bonus two, it does. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look up the med kit. What, what tech level is it? Eight. I think it's a plus two. Oh, is it level eight? Yeah. Level eight? Okay. I bought an expensive med kit. What okay. is the highest tech level we can use? Any um, or? Uh, I, th- I don't know. I, it's it's up to Matthew. I mean, yeah. ordinarily it's could theoretically fifteen, but. Wait, what tech level? What's the tech level of the thing you want? The med kit is an eight, but. You, you certainly can have a med kit. That's that's yeah. pretty standard. Okay. Um, All right, so. So here- I get a plus four. So I'm gonna try to treat. Arthur. Okay. So the way this works, first aid, you're gonna roll an, uh, a medic check using education as your characteristic. Uh, it does, re- first aid requires at least basic medical equipment, medical equipment such as a med kit. Uh, you have to do it within one minute of, re- of the injury. You can only do it once. Uh, this will restore, if you succeed, this will restore uh, a point of characteristic equal, a point of characteristic damage equal to the effect. Yeah. Okay. So question, uh, I have, augments and with certain medical stuff the tech level difference between the the facility i guess this first aid kit and the augment is a minus oh and no. i have a tech level 12 wafer jack really? uh, that's right yeah you get a penalty yeah. so it's a uh, minus four to this roll oh just, just um. saying so i i do not succeed then how badly do you fail? Uh, I got a, let's see, so, uh, by one. Okay, all right. By seven. All right, so you don't hurt him. <laughs> so, yeah. but you're unable to restore any, any, the any. The hell is this? <laughs> okay, uh, any other? Smoke is coming out of my way for <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Anybody Damn else? Jim, I'm a doctor, not an electrician. Can you, Willadine's afraid to ask, but can you also do a medical check to me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I abandon Arthur and try to do it on her. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, that's a 13. 13, okay, so you get five points of damage back. Five points of healing. All right, so I'm back up to six endurance, but boy, howdy. And that gives me a minus one, right? Six? Six, you should be zero. in zero, it's plus zero. zero. Okay. Um, and then, Pug, do you want to try to give first aid to yourself? Yeah, I'll try to do that. I can, I can try to do first aid to Pug if it's if it's better. But I also yeah. check on Swan, even though Swan's okay. But oh. I just make sure she's okay, like a good captain would. Uh, I actually got box cars on my own check, so. Oh. Back to full. So what's the total? What's the total? Uh, that is uh, 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 eighteen. Okay, 16. you get 16. 16. You get eight yeah. points of healing. Wow. Yes. I was three down, so. All right. So, Arthur, you're you're still hurting pretty badly, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so you're going to need long-term care with a better doctor, because I can't, <laughs> a better I can't do it. Plan. So yeah, you need, a, you need, you need the So United what happened is I lost, I lost two points of strength. So once this 10 minutes is up at, at one point a minute, after that, it'll drop back down. I'm assuming all the bonus ones go. So I'm going to end with two points missing from strength down to a seven. So, oh. <sighs> and since my sigh is out, I'm not going to be able to do a uh, regeneration attempt. Oh yeah, you're spent. So really? I'm just going to have to sleep. Yeah, till we full rest. It's, all right. Or, oh. or activate my auto injector, which for some reason I 
know how to milk now, but you know, for my good size stuff. <laughs> milk. <laughs> oh. The rain continues to pour down. Lightning continues to strike you. Like you're seeing, like lightning, like cut its jagged path across the sky. But you're standing in this tunnel. This tunnel that was perhaps dug into the ground by creatures you uh, you fled from, actually, eight years ago. Uh, everyone roll recon. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Eight. Not bad. Ten. So this is straight up eight. Straight up eight? All right. Yeah. Arthur and Pug, you hear... You can, it's, it's hard to hear underneath the, the din of the rain coming down and the thunder and everything, but you, can, you start to make out a distinct sound of <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs> I hate this planet now. This planet sucks. We should leave. We should leave, like, guys. I vote we leave evils. the planet. <laughs> yeah, right? Struck by lightning or big centipede. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>